Hi everyone, I'm Annabelle from Impranet and today we're excited to have Jackson, a high school student with us. We're eager to hear his unique insights on a variety of topics. So since Jackson is under 18, his parent has given permission for this interview to be shared online and on social media. Hi Annabelle, yes, my mum has given me permission to be here. Perfect. Well, welcome to the studio and we're so happy to have you today. Thank you so much. So let's get into the questions. Now, these questions we're going to ask you are um, very focused on Australia, society and culture. So first question is, how do you feel Australia's unique natural landscapes contribute to its national identity? Well, I think it's very diverse. You know, in mm -hmm. some parts of the country you have flat landscapes, deserts, um, big rocks as all the mm -hmm. but then you also have tropical rainforests up in Queensland, yeah. reefs. Yeah. There's so much different um, diversity to Australia, especially mm. in its landscapes. And with, I think I've seen somewhere 95% of the population lives on the coast. Yes. It's very different to other countries, mm -hmm. you know. Where they all live inland. Yeah. Great. So what do you believe are the biggest challenges facing Australia today? There's a few. I One thing is probably the economy is I do economics at school okay. and it's very, especially with COVID-19, we could see in the increase of inflation and um, interest rates mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. and GDP mm -hmm. that it's very unstable. Mm -hmm. And with it being an, I think it was an average increase of about 2.8% a year mm -hmm. and then going up to eight during uh, COVID mm -hmm. and then back now it's up to four. Mm -hmm. So it's very unstable and mm. I feel like that's a yeah. big problem with the economy and Agreed. not many people my age especially are being taught about this you yeah. know and they don't know what to do how to fix it and, and it's just, their future so exactly like I see so many people online complain oh why is bread now ten dollars instead of six from two weeks ago you know yeah and no one's actually learning about why yeah. and how to fix it yeah what do you think makes Australia unique compared to other countries it's probably a lot. You know, I see Australia as being almost a lot more together mm -hmm. than other countries. Mm -hmm. Like we have a lot of things that bring us together as a mm -hmm. country. One probably being sport. Yeah. I'm very into sport. I've been mm -hmm. playing since I was very young. Yeah. And just in that community, you can always see that people are brought together no matter their differences. That's true. And what they've gone through. Mm. And I just feel like as a country, we are a lot more focused on similar things mm -hmm. than other countries. Mm -hmm. Yep. How do you think Australia's sporting culture contributes to its national pride? Well, I think it, as I just said, it brings us together. You know, yeah. when the NRL State of Origin is currently on, me and my mates will always go to someone's house, we'll watch yeah. it, we get pizzas, and there's just so many different sport, NRL, AFL, yeah. cricket. something to bond over. Exactly. Mateship. Mm -hmm. And I, I just love that about Australia. Like, I've always been into sport, any different sport. Yeah. My gosh, you sound like my husband. <laughs> <laughs> what do you believe are the greatest strengths of Australian society? Probably just how all of us can come together as one. Mm -hmm. And especially mm -hmm. through different aspects yep. in life. Like there's so many, like sport, as I just said, or school, kids my age. There's things that really bring us together. Mm -hmm. And with culture, we actually... We can see here there are so many different cultures. Mm -hmm. Like in near in Sydney, you have Chinatown, and there's mm. so many different places. I've seen in Parramatta, there's a street with just Greek restaurants. And yes, stuff. and it's very diverse it's in great, the culture, isn't it? Mm. but it almost brings us together. Yeah, you know? yeah. Can you share a time when you felt a strong sense of Australian community spirit? Um, well, when I was young. I think me, my family went to watch the, I think it was the T20 Australian Cricket World yep. Cup. Yep. And I could just see in the crowd that mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. from different, even different countries yep. and different states have been brought there mm. just by that one thing. Mm. And I feel like that kind of just shows the spirit yep. of Australia. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how do you think Australia's education system fosters national pride and identity? I feel like that kind of lacks a bit, the education. Mm -hmm. I feel like, especially being a school student myself, yeah. I can see that school is more about teaching kids what's wrong than what's right, mm -hmm. as they won't discredit you if you get a bad mark, but if you wear the wrong uh, socks yeah. or you wear the wrong jumper, they're very, I feel like, disfocused on what's important mm. to us kids. Like there's so much stuff that I want to learn about and explore and there's so much things that's, 
important to life mm-hmm. to learn about, but they don't teach you. Mm-hmm. I just feel like that's a that's bit very good point. misconception. Mm. Can you share a time when you felt proud to be Australian while traveling abroad? Um, it was quite a few times. Mm-hmm. I've traveled quite a bit with my family. Yep. And there was one time we went to America and we did a road trip. Mm-hmm. We went to um, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, mm-hmm. San Francisco, mm-hmm. New York, and Orlando. Oh, wow. So you drove yeah. across? Yeah. Uh, we drove down the uh, West Coast and then playing across. Okay, the flew in the east. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And there was just a lot of times that we could see when talking to people at restaurants or just any mm-hmm. shops that people were very, um, what's the word? They were like, intrigued about us being Australian. They get excited when you're from exactly. Australia. Exactly. Like, like it, oh, my God, you're Like, Australian. oh, what's this? Mm. How it's, They just seem very intrigued yep. about us. And I feel like that made me proud to be Australian mm. as they, it just shows that people are interested and yep. intrigued, you know? Yeah, definitely. Okay, can you discuss a moment when you felt inspired by an Australian leader or figure? Well, it's not really a popular one, but there is uh, an actor I know called Travis Fimmel. Mm -hmm. He's most famous for his role in Vikings, playing the main character Ragnar Lothbrok, which is based on an 800 AD Vikings. And I just love seeing him in multiple other movies. And no matter how much money he's getting paid or what he's doing, in his real life Mm -hmm. that he shows on his TikTok and Mm -hmm. Instagram, he's an Australian farmer. He lives on a farm, he has animals, and nothing ever changes his way. And I just like how... No matter what money or fame he gets, he always comes back to that person that he's grown yeah, up as. Yeah, love that. That just inspires me. Definitely. Now, can you share a story that demonstrates the importance of mateship in Australian culture? Um, just how, especially with mateship and my friends, mm-hmm. just how each of us can work with each other mm-hmm. and help each other. Like mm-hmm. I had a mates party a couple of weeks back mm-hmm. and he had nothing, no stuff for the party and all of us who were going to the party helped. You know, we brought chairs, we brought yeah. um, wood for a fire pit, we yep. brought a gazebo. Nice. And I just feel like we all can come together, especially mm-hmm. when it's for a special event like a birthday party yeah. or something like that. Yeah, that's nice. Great. So we do have one more question. It's quite an important one. How would you improve a nation? And this is regarding Australia. I feel like there's many different aspects. You know, there's the social, the economical, financial. And I just feel like one thing that would, help mm. all of those if, is if Australia came together more and we all focused on what Australia needs. Mm-hmm. Like I see so many people complaining about different things and things. It may seem selfish, but I feel like we all need to work on the unselfish goals yeah. to become more closer and better. Yeah, great. That's a great point. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Jackson, for joining us today no and worries. answering those questions. It was all very interesting and hopefully we'll chat with you again soon. Thank you so much for having me.